And California will be getting a blast of snow in the Sierra Nevada from this coast to coast storm with snow totals up to a foot in some of the mountains. This will add to the state's snowpack, which will hopefully help address the drought in one unsightly issue. Fox Weather's Mac Max Gordon has been speaking to the Forest Service about the reasons behind a tree die off in the Golden State. Here in California, we've seen a really big increase in the number of dead trees in the state's forested areas. The U.S. Forest Service says that in 2021, they counted around 9.5 million dead trees. In 2022 survey, they found around 36.3 million, nearly four times as many dead trees. Here's what the impacted areas look like from above. The Forest Service conducts the aerial survey by flying in a small airplane over California's forests and counting the number of trees that have turned a reddish brown color, a sign that the tree has recently died. The Forest Service says that in their 2022 count, true fir trees were hardest hit. More than three quarters of the deaths were firs. Tree deaths were especially severe and widespread in the central Sierra range and in the northern interior portions of the state. So what's to blame? The Forest Service says that a three-year exceptional drought placed a big strain on forests that had already become overgrown due to aggressive firefighting efforts over the last century. Less water and more competition for that water meant that some trees just couldn't get enough. This allowed disease and destructive tree-eating beetles like the fir engraver beetle to take hold in some places, dealing a final death blow to drought weakened trees. But this winter, we've seen a lot of precipitation in the West. So will this season's bumper crop of rain and snow help reverse the tree die off? And what really matters is uh, whether or not we get those late spring, February, March types of precipitation as well. That's very important. Um, if, if that happens, that'll help the situation quite a bit. But the bark beetle populations are really huge over a landscape level, and they will continue to kill trees uh, even with this one wet year. According to the Forest Service, it's really going to take two or three additional years of above average precipitation before the drought is reversed and things are returned to normal. Forest management is another key. The Forest Service says that these forests need to be thinned of smaller trees to allow the bigger ones to thrive. Max Gordon, Fox Weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.